Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Wake Up to the Word. Are you ready to dig in today? Yes, we are in Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, all right? So check it out. I know you're wondering which verse, verse 26, we're going to start off, all right? So it says, And when Saul had come to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and not believed that he was a disciple. So Saul is Paul who wrote most of the New Testament, but of course he was the one who persecuted all the Christians who wanted to kill them, who wanted to get rid of them, who got letters to arrest them. He did everything he could to try to keep them from spreading the gospel. And then he had this Damascus Road experience where God shows up, Jesus shows up in a vision to him and changes his world forever. And uh, and now he's uh, he was blinded for three days and now he's he's seeing and he's already wanting to share. He's already wanting to get out there and care. But the disciples are afraid of him because this is a guy who we wanted to throw him in jail a week before, you know. And so, uh, but here's the verse I love, verse 27. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road and that he had spoken to him and how he preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. And he was with them at Jerusalem coming in and going out. And he spoke boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus and disputed against the Hellenists, but they attempted to kill him. So what's the purpose of this? I love this guy Barnabas, right? Barnabas, his name, the Bible tells us, means son of encouragement. And what he does, he takes Paul in the midst of everybody wanting to be like, okay, that guy's got COVID-19. We're going to stay away from him. We don't want him to be around us. He could potentially hurt us and plague us. He says, no, 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 you guys, this guy's for real. He loves Jesus. He's Everything's happened. He becomes the encourager for Paul. And Paul goes on and does a massive amount of ministry. You know, Paul would later write, encourage one another daily you know you think i wonder if he got encouraged so much by barnabas he thought man you know the holy spirit led him to write encourage one another daily i think it's so important for us to encourage one another daily to give a word of encouragement to be that voice of positive encouragement for somebody when there's so many voices of negative, right? We've, we're living in a negative world right now. You turn on the news, it's negative. Although uh, the, the president's uh, speech yesterday, as far as his uh, information about COVID last night was good. You know, hey, we're starting to think about when we're gonna open up the economy. Wasn't that encouraging? Like you just start thinking, yes, get out of the house, go to a, a, a restaurant, whatever it might be, you start getting encouraged. I just wanna, do a challenge to you today to encourage someone to give an opportunity he's encouraging his dog right now. <laughs> his dog is up there he's encouraging him he's just saying yeah, you can do it and that's why i wore the dog shirt today so there you go Perfect. by the way gabby's back on the camera today let's give it up for gabby Yay! she's so awesome she does a way Praise better God. job Feeling than i better. do filming so we're glad she's back in action yeah. but anyway we want to we want to encourage one another and so my challenge to you is find somebody text them because here's what can happen we live in this isolation quarantine world and guess what because we do we get self-contained and we don't think about others we start thinking too much about ourselves. there's people in your life you just got to reach out to and maybe text them call them facetime whatever and say man i just want to encourage you i want to tell you you know how much you mean to me or i want to give you thanks for this you did for me or uh, how can I pray for you or whatever it might be man God can use you today to be an encourage just like he did with Barnabas the son of encouragement so be an encourager get out there get outside of our world let's go out and encourage people in the midst of all the negative let's bring the joy of the Lord to somebody today all right let's pray together God we thank you so much that you are the biggest encourager. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. Thank you that you have a purpose and a plan for all of us. We thank you, God, that you're doing a work in our nation, in our country. I pray you would continue to provide a miracle for our country. Hear our, hear, heal our land, Lord. Hear our prayers and heal our land. And I pray for our friends that are in the hospital that need healing, Ellie mm -hmm. and Laura and all the patients that are in there, all others that are in there with uh, COVID-19. Those mm -hmm. guys aren't, but they're in for COVID-19. We pray for protection, for healing, for protection for our front lines. 
uh, nurses, doctors, uh, all the people that are working hard to eradicate this disease, give them wisdom, give them help. God, we thank you. We thank you that you are in control. We have faith to know that you can do the impossible. We thank you, God, that nothing's too hard for you. And we pray now that you would just go before us and bless our week. In Jesus' name, amen. All amen. right, you guys, the challenge is be an encourager today. Text somebody, email somebody, call somebody, and we'll see you tomorrow.